Hi, family. Welcome into our broadcast today of You Are Enough. I'm your host, Prophetess Nikki. It wasn't supposed to happen whenever you wanted it to happen. Let me tell you something about God. You know, God has divine timing, and it doesn't matter how much we want something to happen, when we want it to happen, sometimes it just doesn't happen when we want it to happen. I know I've been there, family, and I know you all have been there too. Some of you may be in it right now. You're either in it, you're going through it, or you're either coming out of it, one of the three. So you know your own situation. But I want you to understand that the times that you thought something was supposed to happen for you, God said it wasn't supposed to happen. God has to make sure that you are ready to handle what he's getting ready to give you. He has to make sure that you are healed in certain areas of your life before he allows you to exit one season and enter another one. Listen to me, family. How you exit one season of your life is how you're going to enter the next season of your life. You can't exit one season and enter another season the same way you left your prior season. So if you're broken, if you're paining, if you are suffering emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, whatever the hangup is, God said you got to deal with that stuff right now. Before I allow you to go to a season of prosperity and blessings and healing and miracles and breakthroughs and opportunities, God said that stuff is in that next season of your life. He said, but before I allow you to enter that season in your life, you got to deal with whatever you got to deal with. You know, some of you may be going through some things that you've been saying for a long, long time that I got to deal with this. I know I need to do something about it. So how long are you not going to do something about it? See, when, whenever we know the way and we don't walk therein, you know what God said he does for us? He said he will whip us with a many stripes. When we know the way and we refuse to walk in the way we're supposed to walk, God said he will whip us with a many stripes. It's time in your life now to stop saying what I need to do. I know I need to do this and don't do it. I'm saying this in love because you don't know what's going to happen in the next minute. It's not promised to us. Tomorrow is a promise to us. God said he wants to restore you. He wants to make you whole. He wants to make you complete. He wants to give you these things that you're asking. Don't you know God said he gives pleasure in prospering his servants? It makes God happy to prosper you because he can get the glory out of it. Just like God can get the glory out of your suffering, he does. He gets the glory out of you being prosperous, family. Because that means you're going to be put in a position where you're going to be able to help somebody else. And this is what we're placed on this earth to do, to be a help to one another and to be a light to those who are in darkness. This is what you need to do. Deal with this situation. Deal with it. If you don't confront it, you can't deal with it. You got to identify your problem first. Identify it. Then you're going to have to confront it. And once you confront it, now you're going to be in a position that you're going to conquer it. But you have to deal with this stuff. All of the junk, all of the mess, all of the baggage, all of the trauma, you got to deal with this stuff right now, today, wherever you are. You got to deal with it. And it's going to cause you to make some decision that may hurt you to do it because you're emotionally attached to certain things, people, places. We have to learn how to lean on the Holy Spirit and disconnect what God is trying to cause a disconnection. Sometimes God will allow things to fail in our life. Some things God, sometimes God will allow things to break down so we can draw closer to him so he can allow us to, get, to gain our life and to put it back into a proper perspective before we enter into our new season, into our new day, into our new opportunity, into our new breakthrough. That season is waiting for you. But how long are you going to put off that season of miracles and breakthroughs, opportunities? How long are you going to allow yourself to put that off? And you may be saying, Prophet is Nikki, I'm doing everything I know how to do. How am I putting it off? We can put it off by not doing what we need to do in this season. These things can't carry over. It's just like when you're bleeding, when you're hemorrhaging, you can't put a Band-Aid if you've been cut real deep. If you're hemorrhaging, if you've severed an artery or something like that, you have to really deal with the, the issue. 
Sometimes people put a band-aid on life and they turn the pages of their life and they keep walking into a new season, but they're carrying all of that garbage into a new season. They're carrying all of that dead weight, all of those burdens, all of those traumatic experience into that new season. And sometimes people wonder why aren't they making progress? Because you weren't designed to carry dead weight. You weren't designed to carry it. This is why God tells us to cast our cares upon him. He said, throw it on me. Give it to me. I'm strong enough to handle it. God didn't call you or not to, to carry weight. He didn't carry it. He didn't call us to do this. So if you want that new season, if you want your new day, whatever you got going on now, and if you've been having things go on for a long time, if that thing has been lingering, Listen, if you've been lingering into making a decision that you know you need to make, you got to make it. Nothing's going to change. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Listen, nothing is going to change the way you want it to until you make a decision to do what you need to do. Is it easy? Absolutely not. Will it be challenging? Will it be difficult for you to make it? Yes. Will it pain you to make it? Yes. But think about if you don't make it. Think about if you never made that decision. Are you willing to live this life to sacrifice a better tomorrow, a better future? This is what God is asking us. Are you willing to self-sabotage and sacrifice what I have you have for you in Canaan? Do you want to settle for Egypt? Eh, it's not what you want, but at least you're being fed, right? But God said, I have a banquet spread over here for you where you have many choices and where you have many options. So you got to choose. So if you choose this better, prosperous, restored season, you got to deal with these issues. You identify your issues, you confront it, then you're going to be able to conquer it. You can't drag this junk into the next season of your life. Why would God allow us to pull junk from this season into this season? That's He's not going to do that. He loves us enough. enough. This is why so many people are in a season of isolation. This is why so many people are in a season of being hidden and God will cause us to be in seasons of isolation where we are hidden away from people so we can get ourselves together hashtag I'm gonna get myself together hashtag that family hashtag that I'm gonna get myself together you have to get yourself together hashtag that identify it confront it conquer it I want you to hashtag it you are your greatest commodity your mind and how you think you are you can't keep putting things off that you know you need to do because every day that you put off what you know you shouldn't put off, all this is doing is causing you to get further and further behind and it's causing you to get further and further away from your kingdom assignment, your kingdom purpose. It's causing you not to live a life that God always ordained for you to live. It's going to cost you a lot not to do what you need to do. Did you hear that? It's going to cost you more than what you're willing to pay for it when you don't do what you need to do. Ask God to give you the strength, the strength and give you the courage to do what you know you need to do. He'll do it. Just ask him and lean on it. God has good things for you in this season. God didn't call you to wander around in the wilderness for the rest of your life, family of God. He didn't call you to do that. Learn the lessons and move on to the next season of your life. What God has for you over here is much better than what you are experiencing now. Even if you're experiencing some good things over there in front of you, God has much, much more for you, and he has much better for you. Thank you all for tuning into the broadcast of You Are Enough. Jump over to my Instagram at Nikki G. McCray and give me your support over there. Go get your copy of the book and buy it for somebody. Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. You can purchase this book on any online platform, ebook and paperback format. We have a link behind our YouTube page. So go to the end of my YouTube page and support our products. Jump over to Instagram and we have some links in our reels. We have some video where we are advertising our candles, our penmanship pen, and our journal. You want to give back to the ministry? That's a wonderful way to give back by supporting our products because each time you purchase a benevolence candles, candle, it helps us fight against human trafficking. That is a great cause. Thank y'all. Turn the pages of your life and walk into the new season. Walk into your new day. 
identify what you need to identify, conquer it, and deal with it, and you're going to overcome it. Thank all of you. Love you so much. Bye-bye.